Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing yet another unboxing. Today it's going to be The Revenant on Blu-ray. So, this was another great movie of 2015. DiCaprio finally won his Academy Award. Finally has been recognized for making great movies. Uh, this was a really good movie. I don't think this was his best movie, but uh, he rightfully deserved that award anyway. But still, great movie, probably in my top 10 best movies of last year. The cinematography is out, uh, just flat out amazing. The difficulty that the crew had to go into shooting this film, movie shot entirely with uh, no enhanced lighting. Tom Hardy, also in here, uh, does a great performance. Just a very gripping, intense drama that is actually based on true events. We got it on Blu-ray, we were gonna see what are the special features. Because when you're buying Blu-rays, of course you're buying it for the movie itself, but you also wanna see what are some of the extra content that you're gonna be getting here because it's always fun and interesting to watch how these things are shot and difficulties that they overcame, even some alternate endings possibly, and deleted scenes, and of course, the hilarious bloopers that we get along with them as well. So let's go ahead and unbox The Revenant. So as you see here, got standard slip cover as uh, we now all, now all movies have. And it's got some stickers on here. We have um, Academy Award winner DiCaprio. And then here we have a little sticker says, a world unseen documentary. So special features are guaranteed, unlike The Hateful Eight, which has two special features on Blu-ray that don't even add up to 15 minutes. Ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. So, um, I'm assuming this documentary is at least five minutes long. I mean, but anyway, front, this is what the back looks like. We got Tom Hardy there in the back, DiCaprio on the bottom there. And then, like I said, with the Hateful Eight, very similar, it's like a booklet. It opens up. Here we got some of the critics uh, their reaction to the movie. And as you can see here, there's a little Velcro thing here. And pretty much, there's one, another one right here, and you close like that, and then just snap it into place, and bam, it's good. Unlike the Hateful Eight, which has a little gluey, sticky thing, and once you open it, it's not closing back up. This one does. It's not opening up. Uh, so I feel like the Hateful Eight very cheap. It's like, let's get this done as fast as possible and get it out on Blu-ray. Here they actually, you know, decided to waste 30 cents more and actually make something that's better. I mean, seriously. Like, if this was hanging out like this, that's pretty annoying. Same deal here. Pull it out from the slipcover. Uh, the back is essentially the same thing as this, pretty much. Front, same thing. Let's go ahead and open this up and we get the digital HD code. And here is the Blu ray. So there's no DVD, unlike the Hateful Eight, but there's no special features. And here we're about to see if there are any. So we'll see which is the better deal. Go for Hateful Eight or go for The Revenant. There's two great movies. Let's see what we get here. We get this traditional case that I cannot stand. If you have not checked out my Hateful Eight unboxing, uh, I mentioned the same exact thing with these cases. If you don't like these cases, and they do break pretty easily, you can get replacement cases on Amazon. Um, they are much better, more sturdier, a little bit more heavier because obviously there's less plastic. They're more sturdier and can replace these stupid things with this. Don't protect the disc at all. Let's go ahead and throw this into the Blu-ray player and see what are the extra features we have to come along with this movie. I'm hoping we got something that's over half an hour long. If we can go over an hour, that would be nice because this movie especially, I would expect there to be a lot of special features. Considering all this talk about, oh, this movie was so hard to shoot. This was like the one thing I kept hearing over and over again about this movie. So, obviously, even when it won, like, awards and stuff, that was the one thing that was being mentioned. So, um, you're, you're telling us that. We better see some special features to talk about that. Because it's one thing to talk about it. And, I mean, I believe them, right? But I want to actually see 
the uh, difficulty and how hard it was to shoot because there must be some fascinating stories behind how they shot this movie. This movie has some really nice soundtrack too. Hateful Eight owes too, but this one especially. So let's go to extras. Check out what we got. So we got the World Unseen that's listed on the box. Yeah, a photo gallery. That's it. So again, two special features. Let's start with A World Unseen. How long is this? So this is 44 minutes long, so not bad. Should be an interesting documentary. So let's quickly see what the gallery is when we get here. Probably just some still images. Um, so not a whole lot of special features. Unlike Star Wars, Star Wars had over like an hour and a half, almost two hours worth of special content. Here, we're getting like half of that and I wish we would get more information. I think we're just not getting it here. It's a shame. We're only getting 45. Hateful Eight, we're only getting not even 15. They gotta start putting more special features on here. Uh, is this ridiculous. We get it for the movie and the special features, and here we are just lacking. I was definitely expecting w at least over an hour worth of special features, considering all the talk about how difficult it was to film this. And we are just not getting it. I don't know if the 44 minutes is gonna be enough, but uh, at least we get something, right? But anyway guys, that is my unboxing of The Revenant. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys later for more unboxings, reviews, and movie news.